So imagine that you're having an electric car and normally you charge at home, but sometimes you want to go a little bit further. So how do you charge on the road? So we'll look today at fast charging while you're on the road. So the first thing to note is that fast charging stations, EVgo and Electrify America are the two big ones. Those are the networks that you'll primarily use. When you get to the fast charging station, there's often three kinds of connectors. So you have to be sure you choose the right one. There will usually be a small pillar, which has the level two connectors that you find at your home. You probably don't want to use these unless you're going to be at the location for at least several hours, such as, uh, you know, dinner and a movie and post COVID times. We'll assume that you're on your way somewhere. You want to charge it quickly. So in that case, you go to the large pillow here. Often there'll be two connectors. The connector that you probably want is the CCS combo connector. Should match your vehicle. So here's the level two charge port. And then we have the DC fast charge, the CCS combo extension there. The Nissan Leaf uses the Chatama, which is the other kind of connector. So generally the first thing you do Take the connector, this is what it looks like. These can be a bit unwieldy and I'm trying to operate it one-handed right now. The moment of connection is not shown here as it does really take two hands in many cases to connect the charger. Make sure the charger is fully connected and completely seated. You may have to lift up slightly when inserting the charger. All right, there we go. So now that it's connected, We'll need to activate the charger and it says here swipe to start or use your RFID card. I've got my EVgo card, these are great. So I'm just going to there we go, and it says authorizing payment, authorized, and your vehicle is now starting to charge. Initiating session. You can hear the fans spin out, which is a good sign. That means that it's preparing the high voltage charge. And the charging has begun. You want to wait to make sure that the power level is greater than zero, or if the power level is not shown, the energy delivered is greater than zero. The reason for that is that sometimes these stations say they're started charging, but they haven't. You should see the charge indicator on your vehicle flashing however your vehicle indicates it. Totally safe to get into your vehicle. You can turn your vehicle on, for example, to listen to music or have the, uh, the heater air conditioning on. The vehicle should give you some indication that charging is in progress and when the target charge level that you've specified may be reached. Something to note is that the vehicles generally charge fastest at a low state of charge. The closer you get to uh, 80%, the slower the vehicle will charge. And it's not recommended to charge above 80% using one of these fast charging stations. It's just too slow to make it worthwhile. It'd be better to charge to 80, drive a bit to another station, charge to 80 again, that would end up actually being faster than trying to say charge to 100% on one of these fast charging stations. It's also completely safe to leave the vehicle. I could lock my vehicle, go across the street, get a bite to eat, go to Starbucks, whatever I wanted to do, uh, that would all be fine. Uh, it'd be safe to leave the vehicle. You can expect a fast charging session to last mm, 15 to 45 minutes, depending on how much charge you need, for one and how fast the charging station is going. The charging station uh, speed is a combination of your vehicle and the limitation of the station. So EVgo stations like we have here have a maximum power of 50 kilowatts. Electrify America have much more powerful stations. The vehicle itself also has limitations. It can only accept charge so fast. The vehicle that we're in today, Chevy Bolt, is actually one of the slowest fast charging vehicles. It's not really designed for a lot of road tripping, but it works okay. Other vehicles can fast charge much faster. Comparison of these of the EVgo and Electrify America networks. Electrify America has a much broader distribution. It's building out nationwide. 
but EVgo tends to be easier to use and more reliable. The EVgo stations tend to use names. This is Nostromo. The other station here is Raylan. So if you needed to start or check on the charging status with an EVgo station using the app, you'd use the name of the station that you're parked at rather than the ID number. So, been charging for a few minutes now. Uh, not as long as you would normally charge if you were really going somewhere, but you know, definitely got more than enough to uh, to make the journey home. Well, I had more than enough to make the journey home beforehand, but you know, it's an example, right? So the hardest part sometimes of these charging can be getting out of here. The charging handle locks to the car using an electromagnetic lock because of the high voltages involved. So what do I do? In the charging, there's usually a control on the screen, on the touch screen, or potentially a separate physical button. In this case, there's both. There's a touch in session button on the screen, and there's also a physical stop button. When you're done charging and you're ready to go, touch the appropriate button to end the session. With an Electrify America, sometimes there's a little more panel. You have to swipe up on their screen for more to get to the end. It's kind of strange. So I'm going to use the screen here. We'll try this. So it says charging stopped, and you probably heard the fan shut off. In order to disconnect the connector, you will hold down the button, the, the disconnect button, but also lift up a little bit on the handle while you're doing that to remove the connector. So I'm gonna push down, lift up, and pull out. It can take a little bit of oomph sometimes to get those things out, but lifting up while you're pushing down on this button helps a lot. Okay, put that back in the spot and then make sure that I close up here. Good to go.